Got this 2023 Alpaca Classic, and so it didn't come with any of the Whitewater editions, so the backband or the thigh straps. And so I bought Alpaca Sales a kit with the backband and the thigh straps and all of the mounting hardware. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install them. Some of the stuff we're going to need, um, so we're going to need a tape measure and a marker to mark out uh, where we're going to mark them. We've got acetone, or you can use methyl ethyl ketone, it's called MEK, uh, to clean the surface before we uh, glue stuff down. Um, we've got, obviously, rubber gloves, uh, screwdriver to open the paint can, some markers. If you have a respirator, I would suggest one. So the glue we have is called Stabond U-148. There's also Loctite makes a um, vinyl adhesive. I think Home Depot sells it, but only in the lower 48, and I'm in Alaska, so it wasn't really readily available to me. But either way, we're doing this outside, otherwise you want to ventilate it. First thing we want to do is we can set up the back band a little bit, so there are these existing uh, mounting points for the inflatable back band, and the new back band has just these little, I don't even know what to call these, but we're just going to slot them through, and then that'll hold the, the rear of it. So here the rear of this back band is installed, so now we're going to we're using these double D-ring pieces that came with the kit. So this is obviously one's going to be for the back band, one's going to be for the uh, thigh strap upper mounting point. So these are going to go forward of, just forward of where the the aft meets the center tube, if that makes sense. So on this tube, pretty close to this seam, and maybe three inches, two three inches down from the top. It might look a little different if you don't have the removable white water deck, but it's going to be something like that, I would say. Um, it, again, it doesn't really have to be precise. All these straps are adjustable, so we'll make it work. Um, but so we're going to mark it out. So we're going to trace it with a marker where we want it. So we have our positions marked for the uh, double mount. Now we're going to do this uh, multi-mount for the thigh strap. So we want about an inch-ish inch -ish from the highest point on the tube, an inch down into the tube, and a little bit farther forward than the last one. Again, we have all this adjustment in the strap, so it's not super critical, but we're going to mark both of these and then move on to the the last ones for the feet. So lastly, these uh, foot mounting straps, so they're going to face this way in the boat, if that makes sense, so that the little grabby can grab them. But they're going to go on this tube, so you have the one that's most forward and then this one before the center tube, and a couple inches up from the bottom uh, so that we're not um, interfering with the floor seam at all. I looked at some videos and I decided to kind of center it within this tube and you want it angled up a little bit like this. So now we're done marking and we're ready to clean so we're going to use the acetone for that and just do a couple coats. Um, you can abrade it too, it kind of recommends that but I don't know that I would do that with the pack wrap. So I'm just going to do like three to five coats uh, with a little tiny paintbrush and just kind of dabble this on there to clean the surface so we get a better bond with the glue. Finding this part easiest just to do with a paper towel and a rubber glove. I've already done two coats, I'm going to do probably two more and call it good with the acetone. So now that we're done preparing the surface, we're going to be mixing the stay bonds. We're going to open it up, mix ten parts of this to one part of this. Uh, I'm going to mix it here and then use a paintbrush, and we're going to do three coats going around. So I went around three times with the uh, stay bond, and then one fourth time just kind of around the edges of each one. Uh, so now I'm going to use the uh, hair dryer or some sort of heating source and heat them up just a little bit. You don't want to see any bubbles and then we're going to roll on from a corner. So basically, if I were doing this one, I would start at a corner and kind of roll it on, trying to press out any bubbles. Um, you can use the back of a screwdriver or something to smooth this out, um, but we're basically trying to get a good adhesion, no bubbles. So to recap, I put three coats on the base on the boat itself, and then right before I would um, put on the patches, I would put a coat on the patches as well and then just apply the heat gun and use my fingers and a screwdriver to roll it out. I'm going to let it settle a little if there are any more areas that seem to be peeling up, like I noticed kind of a spot here. I'll go back with a little more, um, probably a little stay bond and some heat and pressure. So here's one final look. Uh, the cure time I found on Google ranged from 24 to 48 hours, so I've let it set for a bit and now I've put in uh, everything. So you can see my back band line, my thigh strap line, got these and it's not perfect but um, it'll work again every single piece of this is adjustable so it should work for you and now you have more control and then alpaca itself has a video on adjusting these and I'm not going to attempt to duplicate that